Hi guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to create a campaign in Age of Mythology or how to put your scenarios into a campaign format in Age of Mythology. So, you're wondering how oh, Ensemble Studios and Microsoft uh, Games have created the Fall of the Trident campaign or even the New Atlantis campaign. So, you create scenarios in Editor and you save them, but you, there isn't really a chronology between them and uh, you press, for example, if you put a trigger you win and you press next scenario, it, uh, it, uh, it takes you to the main menu. So you want them to be as a channel and you want them to be like the real campaign. So today I'm showing, I'm showing you how to do this. So this needs a bit of coding. It's a bit hard, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible for you to understand. So you need a, a, a writing software, a coding software. So you can use Notepad. Mm. Okay, so you can use you can use Notepad or you can use Notepad plus plus. So this Notepad plus plus is the best. Uh, uh, encoding software and you can open it with you can open with it any age of mythology file so i'll test here now and who look i've already opened the main campaign of age of mythology the fall of strident look how it's written uh, you'll tell me that's a lot of coding and 500 lines about 500 lines so we won't code that much we will code about 10 lines i put only three scenarios and I'll make it as simple as possible. There is so much things that isn't needed. Only what is needed is about 10 lines. And here is the expert, expert campaign. So I put a link in the description for you to download Notepad++. But you can use Notepad. And now I'll use Notepad. You can use, Not, uh, you can use Notepad++ or Notepad. It doesn't really matter. But uh, I'll, I'll show you that you can use Notepad and I'll code. So how how... I knew how to code. Simply, I see the encoding of the scenarios and try to imitate them. So I'll tell you what lines are vital and what you must copy. So the first line is vital and you must copy it as it is. So you can't really change anything in it. Don't change anything. It must remain the same. We'll go for the second line. You can write it if you want. You really don't have to copy it. But uh, copying it likes help you to to have less errors, and an error can cause the game to crash. That isn't really that harmful, but you'll have to debug and debug for hours, and you really can't find the problem. So now we'll copy the second line. For the second line, it is uh, changeable, and we'll change many things in it. So this is the line for the campaign name, like. Here is a campaign, it is, an, is a new Atlantis. You really don't need the dollar stuff. You need just to write your new campaign name. I'll put, for example, my first video campaign. Campaign. Sorry for that. And here is the version of the campaign. For example, if you've created two versions, an Act 1 and Act 2, First with Arcantos and with Castor, you can have uh, many versions, but for now it's the first version of my campaign, so really don't need to be changing. You can put it whatever you want; doesn't really matter. So he now will add the scenarios in our campaign. As you can see here, the, these lines are for the background. Like if you if you see the Age of Mythology campaign, there is a background. For example, if you're playing the level three, scratching the surface. There is a background of uh, there is a background of the uh, Greece, and if you play, for example, the campaign North, there is a background of the Northlands, etc. So each campaign has its own background, but uh, we won't go through that stuff because we need a bit of time. What I will go for is to add scenarios. So to do this, I copy this line. I could write it, but it would take so much time, and I want to make the video as short as possible. So where are we writing here? So, by the way, this is uh, my first uh, professional campaign here, and yeah. 
so I'll show it to you later. And here, this is uh, this is the line for putting your scenarios. Now, the, there is a scenario display name. As you can uh, probably tell, it's the names that will be displayed in the scenario menu. So you write whatever you want. I'll put, for example, video video C1. For example, it doesn't really matter. It's the name that you want to put. And here is the file name. So this is the name of your uh, scenario. So to, uh, to find the file name, you go here. Uh, you go to start uh, computer. No, not computer. Documents. Documents. My games. Age of Mythology. If you're using Age of Mythology Titans, if you're using Age of Mythology, you go directly to local disk, my comp uh, program files, and, and you go here to scenario, and here you can see the scenarios that you have created. So, I have created uh, so much scenarios. We'll use two for now, or three. I'll use two. So, here is one level. I'll copy it as it is. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I think everyone probably know Ctrl V, Ctrl C, yeah, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And now we have put the file name. You can put it through a folder. For example, here there is some folders. There is, for example, the Euro 3 folder. There are all the campaigns that I have downloaded. It's a very good one. I recommend it to you to download. And there is many campaigns. I have also downloaded Torvald the Ruler campaign. It's also a good one. And uh, and you can put put it through a folder. For example, you put uh, Euro three slash, and you put uh, the file pass. So this is uh, the file pass, and you put it. And here the background set will delete it because we don't need it. We haven't uh, do downloaded any background. And here is the description of the scenario. So we we'll put whatever we want. I'll put this is my first video, whatever you want. This is the description of your scenario, it's free. And now we need to create another, uh, to put another scenario, you need to end your code. For example, here, uh, there is two things you must know. There is an opening tag, this thing, and there is a closing tag. So here it is. It's the uh, same as the opening tag, but with a slash. So you copy it and you paste it. And it must be put. So the opening tag and the closing tag are vital. You can write it or copy it. It doesn't really matter. Now for the second scenario, I'll copy this code because it's more familiar now. And I'll put, for example, the second uh, scenario, uh, video C2. And now we must copy the name. I'll do this scenario, for example. And now here. And uh, the description, this is my second video. And now we have two videos. And we have uh, made sure that we have a closing tag. Now you must write a closing tag to the campaign. So it's uh, the same but with slash campaign. And yeah. So that's everything we are need to write. So we have written our piece of code and it's a scenario made of two levels. Now for the saving part. The saving part is a bit tricky so you need to pay attention. You either put save or save as. So I put save as, doesn't matter, it's the same. And now you have three steps to do. First of all, you need to put the save as type to or false. Secondly, you need to write between brackets. The between bracket is very important. Now you need to write, for example, v, v, video campaign. It's the name of my campaign. Dot .cpx or cpn. cpx is for Age of Mythology, the Titans, the expansion. And cpn is for the normal Age of Mythology. I put cpx. And the encoding must be utf8. So as it is written here.
and now we quit and we have saved our we have saved our campaign i go and copy it you must now to to try to put um, to, for your campaign to work you must copy it in age of mythologies the titans you go to program files and titans and you go here to through data you must copy it in this uh, folder you must have administrator rights and you copy it and now you can play your campaign now if it doesn't work age of mythologies uh, will crash here at loading sounds so if it doesn't crash that means it worked I hope it doesn't. Yes, it didn't crash, so it worked. And here we go in the second campaign. And my first video campaign. And that is, and that is here my scenario. So we can test it. These are scenarios that I've uh, created when starting with am So these are very basics. One. Uh, and without many triggers so there is actually an objective but uh, but yeah these are scenarios created basically without triggers so there is not that much ink but uh, you you can see here that there is the quit option there isn't a resign option like it, it was it was a scenario a normal scenario so now it's in a campaign and there is a quit option also, it's uh, it stops by clicking the objective or clicking the quit or or taking information or anything. Yeah, and you can put here channel surfing, and it will go to the next scene. On. So that's it. It works. It works perfectly. And if you need, if you need to debug or change anything, you go to Notepad plus plus, open the file, and change what you want. And that's it. That is how to you create a scenario. Hope you enjoyed, and hope it was helpful. And if you, it was helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you later. Uh, we'll see you later for other video. Goodbye.